Hello and welcome to information about choosing GCSE Music for Key Stage 4 as one of your subjects. My name is Andrew Barker and I'm the Head of Department. Should you wish to have further information, do feel free to come and see me in the Music Department or to speak to any of the music staff. Music is quite an interesting course in that it allows your own development as an independent performer and composer, as well as working with others. It covers the breadth of study that um, we look at at Key Stage 3, so performing, composing and listening. Um, throughout the two-year GCSE course, GCSE students build up a two-year portfolio of GCSE um, compositions. They also gain expertise in understanding the history of music from um, 1700s to the present day. Music technology is also used as part of the lessons in Key Stage 4 to ensure the best possible um, production of compositions are um, in place to send for examinations. Um, students have the options of carrying on with their instrumental tuition, which took place at Key Stage 3, and we are really happy that we have developed a partnership with um, the Guildhall School of Music, as well as um, Trinity. Um, one of our students this year has um, managed to gain a place um, with the Centre for Young Musicians, who are also our partner, uh, with um, the London School Symphonic Orchestra and we're looking for more students to get involved in these amazing events um, as time progresses. Um, it's a fascinating course. Uh, we do encourage students to think about the uh, pathways that they can choose. They can either go into the music industry, they can go on and study music at a higher level, uh, um, either at A level in the sixth form or beyond the university. Um, as a subject, music fits nicely with many other um, general subjects. So um, the doors are wide open for students to have lots of choices in terms of what they do later. I hope that the information that follows gives you a good understanding of the key elements of GCSE music. It's challenging, um, it's, as is all GCSE subjects, going to really test your organisational and academic skills, but more so it's extremely enjoyable and will develop your personal interests in the subject area. At Key Stage 3, there's a variety of different activities which young people can get involved in. In the classroom, we encourage every child to progress and to develop their independent learning skills, their musical appreciation, and certainly to have the foundations which they will require for them to be successful at Key Stage 4 and beyond. Therefore, music is a practical subject to Key Stage 3, where students can work with others in terms of developing and understanding the key concepts required. Music at Key Stage 4 enables students to really begin to specialise in the subject area and to look at developing their own skills and interests. Through composition, they build on the concepts already learned at Key Stage 3 and begin to understand the tools of being able to communicate their own ideas. Through appraising, they grasp a thorough understanding of music theory and history from 1550 to the present day, able to place music in its relative context and to discuss analytically what they hear and many students enjoy the performance which the exam at Key Stage 4 requires in that they can choose a piece as well as an ensemble piece and demonstrate their practical skills which have developed over the years.
we have a team of peripatetic musicians who come in to support the learning of our young people in terms of teaching them on a variety of different instruments. Our peripatetic teachers are themselves established professional musicians and very experienced teachers. It's a pleasure to see how our youngsters develop at quite a fast rate and many of them reach the higher grades so that when they do reach key stage four and have to meet the demands of the discipline of the performance section of the GCSE they are ready to show their skills.